UK-based startup called Nema Composites has moved its manufacturing process to Greece in an effort to help create jobs there and boost the local economy. Yeah, it makes high-tech covers for things like laptops and tablets, and they're made from carbon fibre. Uh, it won support from a group called Reload Greece. It works to provide mentoring, legal advice and expertise to entrepreneurs. Our R&D is based in Bristol and we're going to outsource all our manufacturing facilities in Greece. We've already secured a partnership uh, with a company there, PKMLAS, and they're going to allocate uh, space from their facilities to set up our production line. And essentially it's carbon fibre casing for... Yes, it's 100% carbon fibre casing. We're going to start with the Apple MacBook, uh, but uh, in the future we want to expand our range to multiple uh, consumer electronics. Especially for carbon fiber, the market in Greece is uh, not well developed and I think that's the most uh, important to us. We're not only creating new jobs there, but by transferring our skills and know-how, uh, there is the potential to spark off a new industry in the country. This endeavor wouldn't have been possible without Reload Greece. Uh, so the main purpose of Reload Greece is to set, set up UK-based companies, but which could have a social or economic impact to Greece. And because they've come across with similar situations in the past, they had all the experience to help us uh, set up our business. We wanted to do something um, that's really linked to our expertise. We love uh, material innovation, we love carbon fiber. Uh, we're doing a lot for our day job. And we have many ideas, but nothing was structured. We came up with this idea of creating a laptop case. Um, we went around, we, we tested it, we, we tried to make it, we, we realised we could. Um, we went to look online, we did some market research, we found that there was really an opportunity to sell it. But the, the problem we faced is, um, starting off is, you know, we really didn't know what the first step to take was. We didn't know how we would go out and sell this and you know, what things we needed to put in place to be able to do that. We pitched and they selected the two best ideas to go to the next phase. And um, we were very fortunate that we were selected. And after that, uh, we were given uh, a one-to-one -one mentorship. Our first mentor was uh, Thomas Van Golau. I mean, looking back now, we can see that he was very uh, patient with us because uh, we didn't know nothing about entrepreneurship. I mean, we had all the technical skills about carbon fiber, but we hadn't started any ventures before. So he took us through the baby steps. Uh, what is the business model canvas? How do you define your uh, value proposition? Reload uh, had brought some uh, some people to give us some training on how to pitch and at the end of the event uh, we gathered in a room with many mentors and they gave us lots of feedback on our idea how we can improve it, how we can pitch it better and that's how we refined our pitch and then we went to the final event which was uh, the Dragon's Den and um, we had to pitch in front of investors. We were really fortunate that, uh, that we, won, we won that event. Well, our dream is moving forward not just to start off with laptop cases and phone cases and things like that, but really to grow our company to something where we're recognized as being a, a world leader in composite materials, so finding, being an innovator effectively, finding new application areas and new uses for these materials, and hopefully being recognized as somebody with you know, high quality manufacturing and really great uses for what, we, what we're doing.